Good evening. This is All India Radio and I'm Gunmala Kapoor with the news at 9. The headlines. Cabinet approves amendments to POXO Act providing harsher punishment for sexual crimes against children. Cabinet also approves Gaganyaan program to send three Indian astronauts to space for up to seven days. Government hikes minimum support price for Copra by more than 2,000 rupees per quintal for 2019 season. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces 4,500 crore rupees financial assistance to Bhutan for its 12th five-year plan. Home Minister Radnath Singh says Centre is ready to hold assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir but it's for the election commission to take a decision. And in cricket, India bundled out Australia for a poultry 151 runs in their first innings in the Melbourne Test. The Cabinet has approved amendments to the POXO Act to make punishment more stringent for committing sexual crimes against children. To discourage the trend of child sexual abuse by acting as a deterrent, Sections 4, 5 and 6 are proposed to be amended to provide the option of stringent punishment including the death penalty for committing an aggravated penetrative sexual assault crime on a child. Briefing media persons about the cabinet decisions, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said, sexual section 4, 5, 6, 9, section 14, 15 and section 42. In some way, बहुत बदलाव कर रहे हैं. दंड के अवधि को बढ़ाया है. जो aggravated sexual offences होते हैं, उसमें death penalty भी दिया है. जो बच्चों के साथ बाकी जो unnatural offences होते हैं, उसको भी काफी मजबूत किया गया है. The government also approved the Gagan Yarn program with demonstration of Indian human space flight capability to low Earth orbit for a mission duration ranging from one orbital period to a maximum of seven days. Two unmanned flights and one manned flight will be undertaken as part of the Gagan Yarn program. Mr. Ravi Sankar Prasad gave details about the mission. Cabinet ne Indian Human Space Flight Initiative Gaganyaan program ko apni samati di hai. Ye Gaganyaan program hai jisme hum teen member crew ko saat din tak space te bhejenge. Iske total fund ke requirement hoge 10,000 crores. Isro iske responsible hoga. Hamari koshish hai ki first human space flight demonstration is to be completed within 40 days of the announcement. The Cabinet has approved a bill for setting up of the National Commission for Indian System of Medicine, which seeks to replace the existing regulator, Central Council for Indian Medicine, with a new body to ensure transparency. The draft bill provides for constitution of a National Commission with four autonomous boards entrusted with conducting overall education of Ayurved, Yunani, Siddha and Sovarikpa. It also proposes a common entrance exam and exit exam, which all graduates have to clear to get practicing licenses. The Cabinet has also approved a bill for setting up of the National Commission for Homeopathy. Excuse me. The Cabinet has also approved a bill for setting up of the National Commission for Homeopathy, which seeks to replace the existing regulator Central Council for Homeopathy with a new body to ensure transparency. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, the CCEA, approved a hike in the minimum support price for COPRA by more than 2,000 rupees per quintal for the 2019 season. The MSP of COPRA has been increased to 9,521 rupees per quintal from 7,511 rupees per quintal in 2018, Mr. Prasad said. मिलिंग कोपरा को एमएसपी 2000 रुपए बढ़ाई गई है 9521 पर क्विंटल 19 के लिए 7511 पर क्विंटल के सीजन 18 में जो था उससे बढ़ाया गया है और बॉल कोपरा जो होता है उसमें भी लगभग 2000 रुपए से अधिक की वृद्धि हुई है जो अभी बढ़कर करके हो गया 9920 The CCEA also approved the listing of seven central public sector enterprises on the stock exchange They are Telecommunication Consultants India Limited Railtel Corporation India Limited, National Seed Corporation India Limited, Terry Hydro Development Corporation Limited, 
Water and Power Consultancy Services India Limited, FCI Aravali Gypsum and Minerals India Limited, and the Kudrimukh Iron Ore Company Limited. Government has doubled export incentives for onion farmers from the existing 5% to 10%. The Agriculture Ministry in a release said this will result in better prices for onions in domestic markets. It said at present onion arrivals have increased in the market due to which prices in the mandis are subdued. The Ministry said to contain the situation it has been decided to encourage exports of onions so that domestic prices stabilize. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced a 4,500 crore rupee financial assistance to Bhutan for its 12th five-year plan after holding wide-ranging talks with his Bhutanese counterpart, Dr. Lothe Shering. The new five-year plan of Bhutan began this year and will continue till 2022. In his media statement after the talks in New Delhi, Mr. Modi said, hydropower cooperation with Bhutan is a key aspect of bilateral ties and work on the Mang Dechu project will soon be completed. भारत और भूटान के सहयोग के लंबे इतिहास में हाइड्रो प्रोजेक्ट्स में सहयोग एक अहम हिस्सा रहा है आज हमने इस महत्वपूर्ण सेक्टर में सभी संबंधित प्रोजेक्ट्स में अपने सहयोग की समीक्षा की है ये प्रसन्नता का विषय है कि मांगदेशु प्रोजेक्ट पर काम शीघ्र ही पूरा होने वाला है इस प्रोजेक्ट के टैरिफ पर भी सहमति हो गई है अन्य प्रोजेक्ट्स पर भी कार्य संतोषजनक प्रगति कर रहा है Dr. Chering arrived in New Delhi yesterday on his first foreign visit after taking charge as Prime Minister of the Himalayan nation last month following his party's victory in the general elections. His visit takes place during the Golden Jubilee year of establishment of formal diplomatic relations between the two countries. He was accorded a ceremonial reception at the forecast of Rashtrapati Bhavan this morning. Mr. Modi said he has assured the Bhutanese Prime Minister that India, as a trusted friend, will continue to play an important role in Bhutan's development. Prime Minister Modi said collaboration in space science is a new dimension in India-Bhutan relations. He said the ground station being built by ISRO in Bhutan will soon be ready. The station will help Bhutan get benefits from the South Asian satellite. Mr. Modi said Bhutan will soon launch the rupee card to improve people-to-people -people contact with India. Bhutan Sarkar ne sikra hi rupee cards ko launch karne ka nirinay liya hai. Excellency, is nirinay ke liye mein aapka radai se abhaar pragad karta hai. Mujhe vishwaas hai ki isse dono deshon ke beech people-to-people samandhon ko aur adhik bal milega. Dr. Chering on his part noted that Prime Minister Modi was the first head of state to congratulate him on his electoral victory. He also thanked India for its continued support to his country's developmental needs. The government of India has again extended full support for our 12th five-year plan and also to support traders who are being affected by the GST that has come into action in India. So for all these gestures, we are very, very grateful, Prime Minister, sir, and uh, it only shows how much you are concerned as a big neighbor to support your neighbors. The Prime Minister today interacted with party workers from Belagavi, Bidar, Davangere, Dharwar, and Haveri of Karnataka this evening through video conferencing. Mr. Modi said, the common man of the country wants development, but those in power in Karnataka are only interested in dynasty. He said news reports say that after six months in power of the Congress and JDS, only a handful of farmers have been benefited with the loan waiver scheme of the state government, and it is a cruel joke on farmers. The Prime Minister said, people of Karnataka and the country are watching their actions, and they will soon teach them a lesson for misgovernance. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. You can also log on to our website, newsonair.nic.in. Home Minister Rajnath Singh today asserted that the centre is ready for holding assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir, but it is up to the Election Commission to take a decision. He assured that the government will provide all kinds of security assistance to the Commission for conducting the polls. Replying to a brief discussion on a statutory resolution approving proclamation of President's rule in Jammu and Kashmir, the Home Minister said the government is in favour of an elected democracy in the state. 
Responding to allegations that the center wanted to favor some groups to form government, Mr. Singh rejected them and assured that the NDA government will not allow anything wrong nor unethical. Governor Yelikneh, no political party or coalition of parties in Jammu and Kashmir is in position to stay claim for forming government in the state. In Parisitio, in June, Rajapal Sasan ki a Ghoshna Karni Pari, or Beach Me Lagata, Lagbad Sarepan Che Mahine Tak Mahapar, Assembly ko dissolve the Hikia Gata. Information and Broadcasting Minister Colonel Rajavardhan Rathor today said Legal provisions are in place to take action against television channels whose contents violate broadcasting guidelines. Replying to a debate on a private member's bill titled Television Broadcasting Companies Regulation Bill 2015, Colonel Rathor said in the Lok Sabha today that the license of offending channels will be cancelled for airing objectionable content. जो पनिशमेंट है काफी सीवियर पनिशमेंट्स है और हम कई बार उन्हीं की सेल्फ रेगुलेटिंग बॉडी को बताते हैं और वो उसके ऊपर एक्शन भी लेते हैं और साथ-साथ अगर आईएमसी उसके ऊपर इंटर मिनिस्ट्रियल कमेटी उस पे एक्शन ले तो बड़े सीवियर पनिशमेंट्स है उदाहरण के तौर पे एक महीना दो महीना या तीन तीन महीने तक उसको या पूरा लाइसेंस विड्रॉ कर लेना ये उसके अंदर पनिशमेंट्स है President Ramnath Kovin today likened public health and its provision to a perfect triangle of quality, cost and access and said it is critical to get all three in place and that all must work together for it. Addressing the inaugural function at the 12th Global Healthcare Summit in Mumbai this evening, he said there is no point in having quality medicine and state-of-the-art medical innovation if these are not affordable nor available to those who need them the most. The Raghubar Das-led BJP government in Jharkhand completes four years in office. This is the longest tenure for any government since formation of the state. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Raghubar Das outlined the achievements of his government. More from our correspondent. Data shows that Jharkhand has witnessed an all-round development in last four years. For example, agriculture growth rate in 2014 was negative 4.5 percent, whereas in 2016-17 it became 14.2 percent, a growth of 19 percent. Today, entire state has electrification, whereas in 2014 only 38 lakh households had electricity. Similar growth is recorded in road and bridge construction, milk production, fisheries, etc. Four years ago, Jharkhand was known for political instabilities and corruption, where in last four years, not a single charge of corruption is made against in the present government. Rajesh Sinha, AIR News, Ranchi. Australia were bowled out for 151 runs for in their first innings on day three of the third test in Melbourne today. Despite taking a massive 292 runs lead over Australia, India decided against enforcing the follow-on. Jasprit Bumrah starred with the ball for India with his career best, 6 for 33. Jadeja took two wickets while Ishan Sharma and Mohamed Shami took one wicket each. India lost four quick wickets to Australian pacer Patrick Cummins in their second innings. They were 54 for 5 with a 346 run lead at stumps today. Opener Mayank Agarwal and wicketkeeper batsman Rishabh Pant were at the crease. The four-match series is currently levelled at 1-1. India had won the first game at Adelaide by 31 runs. The Aussies bounced back with a 146-run win in the second test at Perth. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Cabinet approves amendment to POXO Act providing harsher punishment for sexual crimes against children. Cabinet also approves Gaganyaan program to send three Indian astronauts to space for up to seven days. Government hikes minimum support price for Copra by more than 2,000 rupees per quintal for the 2019 season. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces 4,500 crore rupee financial assistance to Bhutan for its 12th five-year plan. Home Minister Rajnath Singh says Centre is ready to hold assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir but it's for the election commission to take a decision. And in cricket, India bundle out Australia for a poultry 151 runs in their first innings in the Melbourne Test. And that's all in the news at 9. Good night.